Yeah, you couldn't let me make it two more feet. It's 2020. And I ain't got time for no fake ass shit, nigga. I'm straight thugging. One, two, three, let's go. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Robert here, YouTube of the Budget, back with another video. All right, guys, so as you see the title, man, I'm going to give y'all things I hate about my wide body Hellcat because my wife owns a red eye. Um, completely two different cars, guys. Yes, I understand that this is a Challenger Red Eye 797, and this is a Hellcat, why about a charger? This really it, just a charger, Hellcat. But the reason why I'm doing this video, because some people probably want, the hell is that noise? Man, that car is loud. Chevy Cruze. The reason why I'm doing this video, man, is because some people probably want to get a Challenger, some people probably want to get a Charger, but then maybe my input, my make that change after you listen to this video so the difference between these cars the difference between these two cars is really not a lot when it comes to the motor because dang i need to get her some cooling hold on why does her say cold full level why is my shit oh it ain't full it looks like it's overfilled but it's not um I don't understand why hers didn't come with this cover. I don't have to get her that ABS cover, but as you can see right here, looking at the motors, it looks the exact same, but she does have a different actual supercharger on top. That's why I gives it that 797 from what I've been doing research and they just placed this black little sticker on here <laughs> that went over this. So, but yeah, but pretty much everything's the same. One thing I do, and this is going to be part of the video. One thing that I do notice, I see her oil thing right here. Oh, mine's the same way too. Shit, never mind. Cancel that, cancel that. I don't know, it just seems like mine, hers is more open, mine's more compact. I think it's because of the ABS cover, as you can see. But okay, anyways, we have a 2019. Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body, right? Then we have a 2020 Hellcat Charger Wide Body. Now, the things I see different in between these two cars, this car, inside wise, the cockpit is way more comfortable. This car in the cockpit, um, it it just need to be you and one other person on the uh, passenger side driving it. Now, I can get my kids in this one, no problems. Move up my seat just a little bit, everything would be fine. I can't put my kids in this one at all. It's just completely uncomfortable. So, what I like about the Charger Hellcat over the Red Eye is the comfortability on the inside, which is the interior. Uh, but that's a no brainer, right? Everybody knows that. Now, when it comes to the power, 797, 707. Is it a big difference? At first, in my head, I'm like, man, it ain't no big difference. It's only 90 horsepower. Now, it is a huge difference. Now, I don't know if it plays the fact that this is a Challenger and this is a Charger, but you can see the big difference when it comes to the 90 horsepower over the 707. Honestly, I have more fun in this car than I do this car. Um, now, will it be the same when Dodge releases? Well, they already released it, but when the red eyes come out, I don't know. Maybe Dre let me drive his car and I will see. Or when River Oaks Jeep gets the red eyes in, I will see. But other than that, guys, the red eye is way much more funner than the actual Charger 707. 797. And then she's going to come out here right when I was just saying this, too. The 797 is way more fun than the 707. Yeah, I can't believe you admit that. Now, oh. so, 
the one thing I said about the 707, well, not the 707, the Chargers versus the Challenger, comfortability-wise, driving this is more comfortable than driving yours. I mean, it's a preference. Unless you just have you and the passenger. Like, for you, it's just a daily driver for you, so you don't really do that. But the kids, we can't have all of us in it. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, of course not. So, we would have to take you So, on. the 797 is better than the 707. Like I said, I didn't think you would see a big difference at the beginning, but you do. Um, what else is better? The, what I like better on a Challenger uh, Red Eye 2 is the wine. You can oh, hear man. the wine way much more yeah. than you can hear on a Charger. But I can change that. But it's two things that's ch changing that, though. It's the the, mo the supercharger is a different supercharger. It looks the same, but this is a different supercharger than this one. That's 797. This is 707. And then the second most, this is the most important thing. Is this cold air intake? So as you can see, when air comes through her snorkels, which are 100% vented, as you can see, when that air sucks through there and goes through this filter, it's absorbing more air. But when you come over here to the Hellcat, mine is enclosed. Like it doesn't get no air. It's coming from the bottom, but it's not sucking much as air as the open it cold air intake. So I am. I really don't want to go. With the aftermarket, I really want to get this exact, exact, exact air filter. Um, but I do need to clean this air filter. It's freaking filthy. I need to get a cleaning kit. But yeah, so that's the other thing. It's a huge notice between driving this car. That's And that's another reason why this car is kind of more fun. And I'm not complaining, guys. I'm blessed to have a Hellcat. Actually, I'm blessed to have two Hellcats in the garage, right? So I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you what's better in my perspective of the 707 versus the 797. The wine, guys. It just that's what makes it more fun. And even my wife said, I think in one of her videos, or she said to me, she puts the windows down because she likes to hear the the wine. In reality, you can hear. You can hear. Yeah, I about to say in reality with her car, you don't even have to put the window down. In my car, you really have to put it down, and you don't hear it as much. Now, the other thing, I think my car is louder when it comes to remote start in her car, when it comes to cold air intakes, but her exhaust, and we both had mid muffler the least guys. <clears throat> I think he got the, the full, but okay. No, hold on, wait for this. We both got mid muffler the least, right? I didn't get the full, so I still have the mufflers in the back. But the difference is, I think it's because my car has a longer tube, so it gives it more like drum like yours is shorter yeah so but but when her car is driving her sounds better than my charger and not on top of this hellcat my 392 i think personally sounds better than this charger because i hate how it sounds on the inside it just sounds raspy to me um and like again i'm not complaining i actually did the muffler mid muffler delete but i wasn't expecting it to sound like that so uh i probably will be getting a course of exhaust in the future straight bolt on so it could take it off and on if i please um she's not getting none because her stuff sounds good as is um so that's the biggest things honestly guys oh and the other thing is um mine has more updated software when it comes to cooling down the supercharger versus hers because hers is a 19 and mine's a 2020, but we both don't go racing, so it doesn't really matter. But both of the cars are fun. Like I said, I'm not complaining about anything. Um, if you look at the motors, they honestly look the exact same. The only thing she don't have is this uh, ABS cover. It costs like $50, $60. I'm going to buy her one of those it's just because I like the look. And then the only thing mine don't have, I don't have the red eye on the supercharger. They just slapped on top. But she has the coder. She has the oil catch can. I have the oil catch can. Well... I see she has this little thing right here. I don't know what that is. I don't even have that on mine. Yep. But other than that, everything else pretty much seen. What do you see different, babe? See, tell me what you know is different about the engines by just looking at it. And she don't know nothing about motors. Yeah, uh, nothing. She knows nothing about. <laughs> she just knows this car go fast. So what's three things that you spot? Oh, why different? you gonna say three? I'm trying to get down one. You you know the three. No. Let me see. Look at yours first. It's better to look at yours first. All right, what you see? Okay, okay. The first thing, which is this. That's the ABS cover. Hot 
Yeah, your car gets because you don't have a cool down thing. Your car gets hotter than mine. Okay, that's the ABS. That's one. What's with two more? Girl, it's so noticeable. What's noticeable? Okay, and you get an air here. filter. That's two. What else? What else do you notice? You talking about as far as the makeup? Just makeup? how it looks. Just the motor. The, the cosmetics looks of it. What do you see different? I don't know. That was one, two. Okay, what's the third one? I mean, besides mine. The yeah, the, the red eye. So that's true. That's three. So that is difference, guys, versus mine. So, I mean, you act loud. I, I, you so, act like I was supposed to come over here and find something like. Let me show you what else is mine, mine don't. I don't know what this is. Mine don't have that. Your your belt is green because it's a. Uh, Bro, really? And, the but, belt color? Yeah, it's actually that makes a difference. That's why you get uh, seven ninety seven. Boy, whatever. No, I'm serious. Watch out! Turn you have a different you. pulley. You have a different pulley. All red eyes have green Can belts. Can I touch it? No, yeah. don't touch it. Can I touch it? Yeah, it it's tight. No, it don't do nothing. Can I feel it? Okay, I'm feeling different. Oh, my God. I want to feel the difference. It's the same you say it in May. I, I mean, I want to feel the difference. It's just the color, right? It's yours should be thinner, too. Do it feel thinner? Mm, not really. Let me see. It does feel different. Yeah. Yours is thinner because yours is older. Mine is newer. So mine is thicker. Uh, what else? But other than that, it should be everything else is the same. Yeah. But this is this was the part, big reason why your stuff makes that wine noise. That's why I want to get it. But I want to find the OEM one. I don't want to get an aftermarket. And I think this is a I think this is a catch all can. I, if I'm I don't know maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm right. But yeah, guys, other than that, man, that's going to be part of this video. I don't know if I want to continue it or not, but we'll see. Um, what you like about... No, you can do that. So if you want to see her her opinion between my charger and her challenger. that's So that's for the air to go through. Look right here. Yeah. I wonder why all this is like this. Like corrosion or something. But um, if y'all want to see her perspective on the Charger versus Challenger, please make sure you go to her channel, Living with Tiff, and follow her at SRT Red Eye Tiff, and then also follow me on Instagram, YouTube on the Budget, and Miracle Whip Seven Hundred Seven. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like button, and like I said, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm blessed to have both of these in the garage, uh, and my wheels are better, by the way, too, than hers. My wheels is a lot better. That's what I had on my scat pack. And that's what you have on the head pack. Uh, but other than that, man, that's going to be the end of the video. This is Rob you on the budget. Oh, no, it's not the end of the video. It's the first part of the video. I'm going to go get my car washed. What time is it? Jada got to go. Oh, she got to go to practice. Yep. Damn.